Texas, and in our last round of 16 matchup, we have at the bottom uh, 6 o'clock position. It is a PvP, and it's going to be Minero at the 6 o'clock, and at the 9 o'clock, we have Fingo. Cool, PvP. Uh, yeah, whoa. I don't know anything about these players. If anyone knows if they're someone uh, famous, let us know, and we'll start using their other name, but... For now, this is all we know them as, Fingo and uh, Mira now, so um, if they're Grandmaster or anything, you know, just let us know what their rank is, but we don't know anything about them at this point. And just Mirror builds right now, both of them playing standard, you know, there's nothing special going on, obviously, at this point. Yeah, not too much going on. Uh, I do wonder if this is going to be a similar PvP as we've uh, broadcasted earlier, where it's just going to be a, or almost any PvP that happens on right now. Uh, early pressure stalkers, just a lot of pressure, three, four gates, and see who could uh, maybe take their early lead, potentially take out a lot of the economy of the other player. And one thing to note is that uh, Mirano actually did something very smart, which is doubling up his probes on the mineral patches. So he was selecting probes and forcing them to mine onto the closer patches, and that actually does increase your income by a decent amount. Um, he's been ahead by about 40 minerals per minute uh, for a few for quite a while at this early stage in the game and that can help get all his timings a little faster you see his gateway is going down faster his, cyber, or his simulator is faster I mean there's a few things that just they they help, they add up yeah definitely and because they're pretty much on even supply the fact that he's got those gateways coming out a little bit faster everything is up and running a little faster I feel like Monroe is going to take an early advantage if he wants to do a little bit of pressure, if he wants to do a push, he could do that. Um, it just all depends what the player preference is. Is he going to go 3-gate, 4-gate? Is he going to proxy a pylon? How close is he going to proxy a pylon? Um, eventually, if it gets in a later game, if it comes to Blink Stalkers, it's who uh, who's going to research Blink. And you know, this is one very important part. I mean, something just that simple about mining a little bit faster, a little bit more minerals, is that this Cybernex Core for uh, Fingo is actually about 20 seconds behind, so that means if it is a 4-gate type of situation where both of them are trying to get their warp gates up, even if they both chrono boost and do everything identically from here, the Mirano's uh, warp gates will just be that much faster, and uh, there's really nothing that Fingo can do against that, and he will just be in quite a bit of trouble if he gets attacked, and one warp in of units can actually end the game. Um, so that is actually a really important thing in PvP. If, if you if you uh, mine your closer minerals, you can actually just win games simply because of that sometimes. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, we do see in game right now, uh, Fingo and uh, Minero is getting some good scouting information. Both players are running their probes around the base. And here we go. We do see that Fingo's going to start off. I mean, not Fingo. Minero's going to start off by dropping two more gates. Uh, Fingo does see that. Uh, we're going to look on the opposite side that... Monroe is going to go the 4 gate route, man. It's ne nobody ever goes mirror on those gates. Usually somebody either goes 3 or the other one goes 4. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, looks like Monroe is going a similar style to BBB time where he's just going to bring the Zealot probe and a uh, Stalker. And oh my god, I think the Stalker got missed Mike. Oh, he's just double checking the proxy. So he's going to probably bring that probe, get ahead, get a proxy pile on built in somewhere possibly close and just start applying pressure if he can. Uh, warp gate upgrade is almost done for both players. Monroe is a little bit ahead on that. And there you go, Fingo is just getting that second guess right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Twilight console go down eventually. I don't know if he'll probably wait until he gets a good number of stalkers and defends any kind of initial rush from Fingo, but um, I don't think he'll be very afraid because he'll always be a warp in ahead, even though he has one less gateway. No, looking at it, uh, not too much going on. We do see that Monroe's probe gets in there and does notice that there's a few more uh, oh. Oh, forces that cancel. So he just Canceled the robotics facility for Fingo once it was scouted and dropped the Twilight Council. This is very interesting. I mean, well, it's we usually it's see, kind of interesting to play so, it fakes him out. Well, we will see a robo for Mirano, and he might actually go straight into Blink Stalkers from there. Mm -hmm. um, he actually has a decent number of free stalkers right now. Yeah, right now we see that Monroe does not have a Twilight Council, so he's not researching the Blink upgrade, and once this Twilight Council gets done for uh, Fingo, he's got four gates again. If he could put down a proxy pawn somewhere near, once he gets that Blink going, oh man, it's going to be so dangerous. The only problem is oh. he does not have a Robo out just yet. With only uh, one base, it's very hard to produce on more than three gateways if you're just going Stalker, so I don't think the fourth gateway will help too much, but 
Uh, we do see Blink going down so much faster for Fingo, and that is not good news for me right now. We do see a robotic stay, though, and that is very interesting. I think if he gets more than one Colossus quickly, uh, the Blink will actually be pretty ineffective, unless he's just a genius at micro. Especially without an observer to really give him an advantage in being able to blink onto high ground and stuff like that. Hmm. Immortal is coming out now for Mirna. And an observer. Kind of odd positioning of the observer. I don't understand why it's that. Uh, yeah, no. Uh... Little odd. Uh, he does have a good little army though. Fingo does have a pretty solid army right now. Um, looking at it, Stalker. More Stalkers are getting warped in at the moment. I feel like this is going to be a pretty big push because right now that Blink is done. Uh, blink upgrade is done though. Uh, Monroe is expecting this now coming because he uh, he had an Overlord right over there. Uh, the and Colossus is not even close. This will take way too long to get out. So I really doubt. Mirno will be able to stall for one, even one Colossus, and only one Immortal is not really enough to defend against these Stalkers. Yeah, Proxy Pollen getting put down by Fingo right over here, and this should be a GG coming up by uh, Mirno, even though... Oh, he actually Matt got Delic one Zolt, and they're blinking, they're blinking, they're... Can, but I think he... I think he doesn't want to blink in because there is that Immortal, and he really wants to be able to micro his Stalkers. So blinking in would be dangerous because they have about even numbers, and here and, he just waits Oh, the focus on the Immortal, the Immortal is... Boom, potentially not going down, he's got to get out. Ooh, that, was a, that was a cool little stream shot by the Colossus, just straight up zzzz. <laughs> and that actually will be getting patched too. They, the Colossus will never, no longer do that kind of animation to attack Blink Stalkers, so that's kind of fun. It's pretty cool but, though, I, I liked it. I've actually yet to see that before, that was cool. So I was just like, oh. It's always oh. funny, Alien's picked up in a medevac and the, the flame just goes all over the place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, next is going down for Fingo. This is, uh, very good contain. I, I don't know if he can ever really attack and push up the ramp, but he is trying to do some damage because he has blink, and there's nothing, uh, you know, nothing stopping him right now. There's no reason not to do that. Yeah, there's not too much going on. I mean, I think Fingo realized that you know if he decides to push in close, that it's probably going to be a bad idea. Absolutely, and once the Colossus numbers get up too high, he has to be very careful. He will want to blink away. And fortunately, he is getting charged, so once he has charged, he should be able to deal with those bosses very well. And now the fourth gateway will actually have a huge impact, and he is putting up a fifth gateway as well, because once he gets this expansion up, he will be able to forge quite a few gateways. Yeah. Uh, Monroe, meanwhile, on the other side, he does have an observer in Fingo's base, so he's able to see exactly what's going on. He does know that there is... Uh, Nexus up and running. Um, eventually, Monroe needs to get another Nexus out because if Fingo gets up economically, that's going to be bad news bears for him. Uh, yeah, like you said, fifth gateway coming out. Twilight Council is researching the charge lot upgrade. And yeah, this just could turn into a dangerous situation, uh, but good thing he does have about three Colossus, so. I think this is very smart. Fingo is just pulling back. He doesn't want to get caught off guard by some great force fields and. You know, these Colossus, there's three now, and this is a very scary number for Blink Stalkers. He doesn't want to push his advantage, he knows he's ahead, he can just keep this expansion up and, you know, get charge lost. And now this expansion for Mirno is quite a bit late, so uh, I don't, I mean, his mi main is actually mining out quite a bit, and this is a very scary time. I mean, both players are nearly mining out their main, which is pretty typical in, P in PvP, because you need to tech up quite a bit before you can actually defend any kind of expansion. Look at Fingo, he's going to try to poke in, there's going to be a bad oh. poke, man. Get out but, of there. But good blinking, very good reaction time. He gets a little bit of damage, but no no uh, health damage, just shields. So very... Yeah, just some HP damage. I mean, just very little HP damage. Most of the shields did disappear. Uh, we do see oh, and we do see, we, we do see a Templar Archives down for Fingo, so he is probably going to go Charge Law Archon from here. Just, you know, his Blink Stalkers from before are going to get some map control and prevent any kind of uh, shenanigans from here or no, but... Uh, for now, I think he's just content to sit up and mass zealot and get some archons eventually. You could even use those high templars fairly well, because I mean, right now looking at Monroe just just bunching up his army, he's keeping everything together, preventing anything from uh, anything is hitting his colossus. So, sure, uh, yeah. I mean, storms, I suppose, could be useful. I've actually never seen them used in PvP before, but um, I'm not sure why. <laughs> I think it just doesn't go to that point very often. Well. 
And they're not that good defensively either. That's one of the other problems with uh, getting Storm in PvP at least. The, the units all have quite a bit of health, so uh, Storms won't kill them quickly. Another yeah, interesting poke right there, kind of tries to poke and get a couple shots at the pylon, eventually uh, goes down. Uh, proxy pylon of Fingos does go down. Monroe finally spotted it. Uh, right now, actually, Monroe's like. Well, the, the problem is, his unit composition is just not good against Charge Lot Archon. That is exactly what Charge Lot Archon loves to beat, is uh, Colossus Stalker. It's just it's very, very good against it. Because all the zealots get in there and hug everything, and then the Archons break down any kind of uh, force fields and kill all the zealots for the, the other players. 